Just a week away from the April election, and one big topic we're watching is city and county taxes on marijuana. Now, the city of Ozark is proposing a 3% sales tax on recreational marijuana. It will fund the police department. And as you know, Ozark is in Christian County, which is also asking for a 3% tax. So we asked experts if cities and counties can double dip on taxes. Lauren Schwenker has the answer. We'll see an increase in tax. We'll see a decrease in happy customers, and it won't be our fault. Blake Swindle is the CEO of Swind Dispensaries. 32.79. One of his many locations is in Ozark. It's a place that could see multiple added sales taxes if voters approve them in the April election. The city of Ozark is asking voters for a 3% sales tax on recreational marijuana. At the same time, Christian County is also asking for a 3% tax on sales. You're not adding more tax on a county level to alcohol to nicotine, so why would you want to do that with cannabis unless you're trying to target a demographic of people for just what they use, what they prefer to buy as a consumer good? We asked the Christian County Commissioner about what some voters consider double tax dipping. When you go to the grocery store, you're, you're paying a city tax, you're paying a county tax, you're paying a state tax, you know, so there's layers of taxes. So I look at it as not double dipping, but layering of taxes. County Commissioner Lynn Morris tells us they did have some back and forth with the Department of Revenue at first, but the final verdict, it's allowed. Well, I think the Department of Revenue and I appreciate it, you know, they, they reversed their decision after they studied the issue more. Now let's say you wanted to buy an ounce from a dispensary here in Ozark. If those taxes were to pass, it would be $10.62 of that added tax. But if you were to travel over to Springfield and pay that gas money, after we did the math, it is a couple dollars cheaper if you're planning on buying an ounce or more. In the future, there's going to be a worry because people always price match. So regardless, they're immediately going to think, okay, I have a higher tax in this location. They won't consider my normal prices of flour, my normal prices on a bag of gummies. Swindle feels marijuana users are being targeted. It's an unfair advantage to those folks that prefer cannabis over alcohol and nicotine. Reporting in Ozark, I'm Lauren Schwenker, KY3 News. Springfield voters will not be considering a similar tax at the polls in April, but... You could see this type of ballot question later this year.